One of the things I do, <clears throat> speak to kids about drugs and alcohol. And, and the theme that I've used in the last few years is choices. Life's full of choices. And as I look at your record, for starters, and I've seen worse, a lot worse, but I also see a person who consistently chooses to do things that appear to be either influenced by alcohol, possibly drugs, or a simple inability to do the right thing. It's a record of recklessness, of just not giving a damn. You've got a prior prison sentence, and that wasn't the most horrendous crime for that prison sentence, and you received shock probation. But again, this, this string of just, I will look out for Doug Learn and nobody else. <clears throat> and then we go to the night that this incident occurred. And because the word accident's been used so many times in, in your defense, I wanted to refresh myself what an accident is. And one definition is certainly that an accident is an undesirable or unfortunate happening that occurs unintentionally. Well, did you intend to kill Mr. Byron? No, you didn't. Did you intend to maim Mrs. Byron for life? You didn't intend that. But you intended to drink. You intended to get behind the wheel of that vehicle. And I agree with the prosecutor, at the very least, and you drove through the fence in the park. You had a choice. You could stop, face the consequences that you've been driving drunk and you're going to get caught, or you could get in and you could take off. And you took off. And you turned, at most, a six-month jail sentence into mandatory prison sentences, and more significantly, you killed people. And you can't take that away. You killed people because you chose to look after Doug Learn and nobody else. In your mother's letter, did you help her out? You did, and that's great. And are you a good employee? Appears to be. <clears throat> Yet you killed somebody because what was important to Doug Learn was more important than anything else. You had to get away. You drove into the park, you hit the fence, you had to get away. And in getting away, you killed people. And whether you intended to flee or you were just driving quite a ways down the road. This wasn't just a few feet you drove down the road. You hit that buggy in the village limits and you drove all the way down the 700. So that's not just a matter of pulling off the road. You were on your way again. What were you doing? You're looking after Doug Lerner. 